Welcome back guys, my name is Chris Patrick and today is part 2 of our video series on how to work on a engine for your RC cars. So stay tuned guys, let's get tuning. Three, two, one. Now that we've got you guys closer to the workbench, let's go ahead and get started on doing some tuning with the motor analyzer first. Video number three is going to be a poor man's version of motor tuning, and we'll get into that later. So, back to video number one. Setting your in play on your motor is probably one of the most important things that I can stress to you. Getting it set and getting it set right. Because if it's not set, your numbers here will become very inconsistent. That's why it's I started and I was very thorough on how to properly tear apart and rebuild an engine the right way. So, currently I set the end bell to 30 for timing. So let's go ahead and check timing on our motor. So I went down to option number two for motor timing, press the start, it's gonna do its thing. It's rubbing the plastic, that's why it sounds so loud. So according to this, I have an average timing of 30 degrees. So this is 31. 31 and 29 so remember those three sensors that I was referring to a B and C that is why you have an a B and C is it's 31 31 and 29 so an average of 30 degrees so the end bell actually matches the timing that is in the motor per se some are way off and some are dead accurate Every motor is different, so I can't tell you this model manufacturer is 5 degrees off of the inbuilt. You, you get where I'm going with that. So, 30 degrees of timing. I'm going to tell you right now that's low. But, we're doing this to demonstrate to you. Because when you buy a motor, it's probably set to 35 or 40 degrees. They intentionally do not set the timing to where it needs to be. So... You can also test your noise level if you really want to test the noise. And it's going to tell you if you've got something loose or something crazy, this thing will get to like 120, 130 decibels. I rarely ever check this, but it is a feature that is there. Um, pull the motor. Again, I've never used that. I predominantly use timing and the KVRP. So... We're going to do a full pull. KV is basically your torque. It's actually revolutions per minute per amp or volt. I forget. It's something like that is the actual terminology of what this means. The four or the 8.4 volts is the voltage of my battery pack that is running it, which I've just got a standard 5200 uh, gold dot, my basically bashing battery, because it's got an XT60 plug on the end of it. RPMs and amperage. Typically, an off road motor, give and take, you're going to want around five and a half to six amp mark. That is kind of the sweet spot that I will set a motor at to get me close. And then once I get to the track, I'll adjust um, maybe the gearing accordingly to how the gears are. And then I'll check temperature. And maybe adjust the timing based on what kind of temperatures I'm working. Because you know the gearing is good. You can't change the gearing. So the only other thing you would have would be to change your voltage. Or sorry, your timing. Which then adjusts your uh, amperage. So we're going to go ahead and do a full test at 30 amps. Or sorry, 30 degrees of timing. And you're going to see these numbers change. So 
So that is 2,793 KV, 22,630 RPMs, and at a whopping 1.5 amps. So at 1.5 amps, this motor is hardly even doing any kind of draw. It is just cruising along, doesn't matter. This thing at that rate will probably never ever get hot, which is why I was saying you want more power in your engine. So in this case, I want to get up to around that six amp mark. We're nowhere near that at 30. So let's go ahead and take your screwdriver and I'm going to loosen up the end bell here for the timing. And I am going to adjust this to what I'm going to guess is 40 degrees, which is right about there. I'm going to tell you right now, 40 is not enough. It was set to 44 degrees before we started this experiment, but for video sakes, we're going to show you how this works. So we're going to go and check motor timing. And that's saying 39 degrees is the average timing. So 40, 39, and 38. So we're still pretty close to each other when it comes to the three sensors, but we're still pretty low on timing. I'm okay with that for now. We're gonna creep up there. So let's go back and let's go to our KV RPM and we are going to do a full pull. So we are up to 29.45 on the KV, 23,859 RPMs, and we are at 2.1 amps. So we went up 10 degrees of timing, and we went up, what is that, uh, 0.6 of an amp. Not a lot. Okay, we know 2 amps is still not, an, is not enough. So I think 44 is still on the low side. I think I turned that down actually because of the oval. I was just fighting traction problems. So let's go ahead and go, let's go up to 50. It should be right there. I've learned exponentially numbers don't add up when you start getting this high. So I'm giving you that warning now. So, Let's check timing first. So I want to back out. Check timing. And this is finding that quote unquote sweet spot your motor really thrives at. And that's the detail it takes to get this motor where it needs to be. And this is where people pay money for a fully tuned and adjusted motor this is the reasons why you understand that it took me what 20 30 minutes to adjust the spacing the correct way now we're working on getting the timing set so you don't have to do it so we're at 50 degrees timing 51 50 49 i'm still good with those numbers so let's go ahead and let's do a kv run i'm gonna sneak up on this one so we're at half throttle So full throttle. We are at 3,358 KVs, 26,000 RPMs, and we're now at 4.4 amps, and that's at 50 degrees of timing. So you could let this thing run for a few minutes if you really was curious on temperatures and then take out your temperature gun, check it, see what you're working with. But I can tell you right now, this, this thing is still cool as a cucumber. It is 85, 87, 88, we'll say 88 degrees. And I'm aiming down towards the copper. That's going to be where all the heat's at. 
So we're at four and a half amps, roughly 4.4 at 50 degrees of timing. My opinion, that's not enough. So this in bell stops at 50 degrees, but you can keep going. So how far do you want to go? If you don't know marking wise, the in bell. So I'm guessing I'm going to go with, this is uh 50. I'm going to go with 54. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. I think that was the magical number. So let's go check timing. And it is 54 degrees. So we are spot on where I was aiming for. So it's 54, 55, and 52. So remember how I said these numbers don't exponentially go with the timing. This is where things start getting a little crazy as you get to that borderline of where motors start getting a little cuckoo crazy. So back out. And I want to run KVs. So start with a third of the throttle. So I'm on the three greens. That's the three yellows, so I'm at two-thirds throttle. And you already notice I'm almost at four amps already. That's one more, and I got one more click. So there you go. So at 54 degrees of timing, so we went up four degrees. Now I'm at 3,700 kV. 29,284 on the RPMs, but my amperage is gone through the roof at 6.8. So now you notice there is a big difference on what four degrees will do to a timing, and I'm already flirting with l low 90s for just a 30 second pull. So that is not going to work if you're trying to do off road racing. So if you have a good way of doing this, and I don't suggest doing this, but I do it anyway because I get tired of playing the guess the game of timing to get six amps or five amps. So I'm going to shoot for five and a half amps. So what I do is I'm going to loosen this bell, these two screws, just enough that I can actually rotate this cam for the timing. And I am going to do a KV pull, set this sucker on full throttle. Oh, bad idea. Went too far. Screw came out. So what I'm trying to do is make this loose so I can adjust the timing while it's spinning and set it to the amperage that I am looking for. Yes, it's dangerous, I know, and this is why I said I don't take responsibility for what you do with your motors. Is this stupid? It probably is, yes. I'll say it probably is. So that's a little tight. I'll loosen that up just a tick. Nope. It's the top one that's tight. There we go. Just tighten that bottom one up. Amp. That didn't work. That one's a little tight, so let's loosen that one up. There we go. Okay. I think I got this set. You can see these screws backing up. There we go. 
So I'm at 5.1, 5.2. I'm a little on the low side. I'm okay with that. So as you can see... Thirty-four thousand five hundred and six. Sorry, thirty-three thousand four hundred and fifty-six kV, twenty-seven thousand RPMs, and at five amps. So that little pull, I generated enough heat that I am a hundred. I've seen a hundred. What do we got back here? Yeah, we're about a hundred degrees. So keep in mind, one hundred and two point two. So 5 amps is the magical number that I'm going to set this engine at. Let's see what the timing is. According to the end bell, I'm at 50... I'm going to call that 51. So let's go back. Timing. Fifty-one degrees of timing. Fifty, fifty-two, and fifty. I'm happy with that. You notice that sweet number that came back around. It's what you're looking for. You're trying to push the motor as far as you can without numbers getting really skewed. Yes, this motor analyzer is worth a hundred dollars if you are even remotely questioning it. Do you need it? No. And what I'm going to show you is you can check amperage using simply a voltmeter with the motor already in your car. So stay tuned for video number three. I'm going to show you the poor man's version of a motor analyzer and how to use this instead of spending $100 on this to do the basically the same thing on setting your motor based on amperage. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, come around check out video number three. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think of the motor and uh, my wonderful shenanigans on how to tune it. Again, I know it's probably not the smartest way of doing it, but it works for me. I get tired of changing one degree, testing it, changing one degree, testing it. I, I just learned to doing it that way. Just got to be careful and be cautious. So stay tuned, guys. Don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for more videos. Later, guys.